Welcome to the Understanding Asthma Research video series brought to you by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America's Paper Project, promoting asthma patient engagement in research. This segment will cover asthma symptoms. I'm Dr. Michael Pistoner, an allergist at Mass General Hospital for Children. I'm here to talk to you about the importance of patient engagement in research and how you can help researchers ask the questions that are important to you. Together, we can improve the lives of the people in our communities. After watching this video series, you will have a basic understanding of asthma, be able to recognize some of the common symptoms and triggers, and learn more about uncontrolled asthma and asthma attacks. You'll also understand why it's essential for those with asthma and their caretakers to be involved in asthma research. After watching this segment, you will have a basic understanding of common asthma symptoms. If you have asthma, you may experience coughing, shortness of breath, wheezing, chest tightness, or increased mucus in your lungs. Many of these symptoms can become worse at night. Asthma can increase your rate of breathing, especially in children. Often, exercise will make asthma symptoms worse and may be the only trigger for asthma in some people. Sometimes, signs of allergies such as a runny nose, stuffy nose, happen before and during problems with asthma. If you experience any of the symptoms we've discussed, you should schedule a visit with your doctor. They will discuss your medical history and perform a physical exam. You may need a lung function test and other tests such as a chest or sinus x-ray. Have you noticed that sometimes your asthma seems to get worse at night? Uncontrolled asthma, with its underlying inflammation, often gets worse at night. It probably has to do with natural body rhythms and changes in your body's hormones. The important thing to know about nighttime asthma is that with proper management, you should be able to get your nighttime asthma under control and sleep through the night. Work with your doctor to review your treatment plan. Asthma may lead to a medical emergency. It's important to know the signs of a severe asthma episode or asthma attack and be prepared to treat it. If you're in breathing distress, you need to seek emergency medical attention. We will cover asthma warning signs in an upcoming video in this series. This presentation has been brought to you proudly by Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America with funding by the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, PCORI.